Welcome everybody, today we're trading with Geman and we're going to improve the defense. Um, I'm going to show you guys a video and see uh, what we did wrong in the, uh, in the tournament. Vamos! show you guys a video and see uh, what we did wrong in the uh, in the tournament and German is gonna help us out probably hello well maybe it's not that what you did wrong but to check what options apart from what you choose to do we, we have yeah, exactly okay so this is the the rally and, the, and these guys are much better than us we, we lost anyway but we play the ball they play here they play boom and they take the net palm out you are going to excuse me and I hope you don't excuse me as well yeah it's his mistake. Okay. He didn't defend it well. Okay. So what he chose to do was the right choice. To let he the ball pass. Yes, but look where he's standing. See, he has one foot in the other side of the line. So the problem is that the ball, when he hits it, is behind him. Okay. It's there, behind him. Yeah. The other player saw it. I'm here. I see you have the ball behind. I'm coming. If he would have been behind the, the ball, this player would probably not do this. He would have been able to play with the other player. Okay. And I think I make the same mistake. Instead, I let the ball pass and I wait. And then I don't go back, even though, because this is like a, I think the quality of this bandejas is, or people is quite good. It's good, but it's yeah. not outstanding. Okay. And you also talk a lot about the contact points, high or low. Yeah. So if I wait here, my contact point will be quite low. Yeah. If I'm here, it could be a little bit higher, which gives me the chance to play maybe a low. Yeah. Maybe if the ball was too fast, I wouldn't play a low, but for sure, it's not the same to contact the ball there, right? Yeah. Which is higher yeah. than here, which is lower and also behind me. So if the ball is there, he knows that I'm never going to play cross. Yeah. This is possible. Yeah. And whenever the ball is behind me, it's always going to go up and not too fast so that gave him enough time to move yeah let's say the same situation and i'm here if i play fast yeah he will not have so much time to go forward and even if he does because you take it earlier yes and he might have the no but also because i play faster okay so when he gets there he might have the ball behind so, so he will not okay. be able to do that so you don't always defend slow not if the ball is really fast and low, and I think my opponent is going to move forward to do that, yeah. I might go with a really fast ball on his body. Okay, and why would, wouldn't this be a ball to folly the people have? It could be an option. Okay. It could be an option. But for that, you need to be here, and you need... But the problem is that that ball wasn't clearly coming this way. It was kind of more here. Okay. So, this is not such an easy ball. Yeah because he played the, the bandeja good in this sense. That's why your partner has to do this, to let the ball pass and come out. Yeah. If, if I'm here and the ball is there, maybe I decide to take a volley because he was out of position. Yeah. So that's one option. Okay. But this other option, still a good option. Now, what makes the difference? Your skills. Okay. If I have a good defense, I'll probably choose to do this. Yeah. If I don't have such a good defense and I really trust my volley, yeah. well, maybe I would choose to do that. So, and if you if you can do both, you're, uh, then you can surprise. Well, if I can do both, I would decide in the moment. Yeah. If I feel like I'm standing correctly and I feel I can get this ball right, maybe I decide to go off for a surprise. But that will be very difficult for your opponent because he doesn't know what you're doing. Exactly. Yeah. That's why it's so important to have a good defense. Yeah. Because it gives you more options. More options for you, more problems for your opponent. And to be honest, I don't feel like when I'm defending that if somebody plays a Fibora that I just go, still go back with the ball to the wall. You I have to. Yeah. I think that's something that I have to, to practice because to. Because if the Vibora is good, as you said, yeah. it's going to come fast, yes, but it also will come with a lot of slice and low. Yeah. So you need to be close before it. Yeah, it drops. drops down. And if the ball comes out, you can always reach it. Yeah. But most important, if you're, f if you're back, if you're behind the ball, yeah. you have the possibility to play cross. Yeah. Who has played the bandeja, the vibora? 
Yeah, the, the, the guy on the left. So the guy on the left. more space there. So, I want to play with him again. Yeah, because, because he's, he's out of position. But none of that is possible because he's hitting the ball behind. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think then today we have to work a little bit on footwork, I guess, and also to learn to defend with the folly and to defend with the wall, even though it's exactly. a Fibora. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because what I feel like, Hermann, is sometimes when also when when in Holland they play flatter, mm -hmm. uh, I find it very easy to defend. And then uh, last week I played some rallies with you, and it was like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? What am I doing? Because I cannot get slice. yeah because of the slice. Mm -hmm. So I think I need to work on on, on upgrading that because the, the level will be higher in the future. Sooner or later. We'll yeah. So if I'm confident about my defense and I do this better. Then, then, but it could be a weapon. Absolutely, yeah. because also, if you're not confident in your defense, you're always going to be rushing, trying to go forwards. Yeah. And many times you would choose to go forwards when you shouldn't. Yeah. And it's just because you don't trust your defense. Yeah. If you feel comfortable with your defense, you're not going to have a rush in going forwards. You will make it when you have to. Yeah. Not just because you don't want to be here. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, let's do that. Vamos. Vamos. <laughs> in every normal shot, I'm a little bit too lazy. So I, I think that I'm not going back every single time because some people, they play quite fast follies to me and I can stay here and just play. I don't even have to move. Yeah. But if they can play like a good slice volley, I have to do more with, I can defend it. Mm -hmm. So I don't make a mistake, but I'm also not doing anything when it's easy. Okay, well, let's do it like this. Let's just play. Yeah. First, we warm up. Yeah. Once you feel okay, you tell me okay. Yeah. And then I just play as I was playing points. Okay. Middle speed, sometimes higher speed, and let's see what you do. Okay. But don't think too much. Just okay. play so I can see what's happening, yeah. and then we take it from there, okay? much about the fact that if you should let it pass or not yes you should not try to decide when the ball is still so far okay so put it this way what information you have the ball is going deep right yeah so the ball back up once okay. the ball is closer you're in a good position then you decide you take it or you leave it okay so when you see the balls leaving the racket you, I am, I'm always going to step a little bit back if I see it's deep, if I see yeah. it's going to be short, no? No, oh, okay. So, so decide later. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's what I see, that you back up too late. Yeah. So the truth is, it doesn't matter if you're going to let it pass or not. You need to back up anyway. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So what happens? If you let it pass, it's too late. Yeah. If you don't, yeah. same. Yeah. So this is what I would try to do. As soon as I see it deep, just back yeah. up. Yeah. Hmm? And also, be careful, don't play here. Eh? Too close, yeah. This is okay, one step. Remember, we all say one step. I don't want to hear. Yeah. But here. Now, if, like the other day, you have opponents that you're really, really, bah, bah, bah. but maybe for that time, you say, okay, listen, you know what? I'm going a little bit back. Okay. It's not the ideal situation. No. But if you have opponents that are cutting the ball so much and it makes you feel comfortable, at least you try. Yeah. But my point is this. This position, and as soon as you see the ball, here. Yeah. Not even there. Just open up the space. The okay. ball goes there, yeah. you get it. The ball goes there, you get it. So okay, this so one. Just backwards. I. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if the ball's coming from parallel or across. Well, if it's parallel, it's always going to be here. Okay. But any case, you never want to close this door. No, no, it's too close. Yeah. But even more when the ball comes from the other side. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter. This one is opening up. Yeah. But also this one is coming out. Yeah, you don't have to move. Yeah. So here. And then, worst scenario, you go. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Early preparation, later decision making. that you shouldn't, doesn't matter. Okay. But just work on that, okay? Back, 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 high. Back and down. Back and down, yeah. yeah. Take your ass down. Your head is nearly lower than your ass. <laughs> yeah. See? Yeah. Be careful with that. Okay. There. Yeah. So, small stones, small, small, but then open up when you need to go down. Make oh, okay. it easy to go down and up. Yeah. High. High. Yeah. See? Now so I can get my knee now. The low. key is that your left knee needs to get close to the ground. Yeah. I mean, I literally touch the ground many times with my knee. Yeah. If I have to. All right? Yeah. So that looks like kind of a movement that is a little bit new to you. Yeah, I never do this. Kind of here and then here. When it should be that oh. way. Remember, actually, open up, open up. You go in there. Yeah, it Don't takes too much why. time. I have no clue why you do it. Okay. But it's happening. Yeah. So as soon as someone comes here, this is the key. Yeah. But sometimes you're here, so when the wall hits, of course you're too close. Yeah, and then I feel like I have to turn. It's your, well, yeah. once you do that, that's yeah. the only way, but yeah. it's still a problem. Yeah. Because you are here and you need to get there. Yeah. So if you are going to turn, you still want to do this. Yeah. So your movements should be either this. Yeah. Or even more. Or, or this. Yeah. If you want to turn. Yeah. But you should never be there. Yeah. The only way to come here is because you don't want to let the ball hit the glass. Yeah. So the one that I that was dying there after the first glass. You don't need to choose to go back there. Just straight back. Yeah, and then I can... Once you're here, you can adjust if you have to. Yeah, okay. so also later decision. Later decision. This is the title of the video. Oh. Yeah, so slow down your feet. Oh my goodness, sorry. Wow. Yep. Wow. 
pounds. That was a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and if I move better, I have more options, so my opponent cannot interfere in my rally. We will have time and space to, to change yep. and to do something else. But yep. once you make up your mind, if you change, you know how it goes. It's going to be bad. Yeah. Yes, because yeah. you think I'm going to do this and now you change your mind and you doubt. Yeah. So don't make an early decision. Okay. Decide a little bit later. So you can play soft or, or fast low. and you don't have to play up. Yeah. If you play like this, you cannot play straight. Yeah. You hit the net. But if you open up a little bit, then you can play straight. So the ball will gradually go up, but still a yeah, straight low. ball. Yeah. But if you go kind of flat, you need to play up. Yeah. And that's when the ball slows down, goes up. Yeah. And then they kill you. Yeah. It's just a uh, well done, yeah. That was fun today, yeah? Yeah, it was good. good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank Bien. you for watching. If you want to see more videos with German, then subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you want to do another video with German. Thank you for watching. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios. Bye bye.